All right, everyone. So welcome back to the channel out wow, of sunlight. Hitting these packages very strong. Um, welcome back to the channel. So today is mail day, and as you guys can see and girls can see, there's a lot of mail here. It's also for a comparison. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to probably open up half of these in this mail day video, and then probably a week from now I'll do another mail day video. I'm going to take all the packages here and like eight or ten packages that are the oldest packages sent. I'm going to open that today uh, because otherwise this video is going to be like three or four hours long. And I don't know if uh, my computer can handle a three or four hour video. So thank you to everyone who sent packages mail day going through about half of these today. Thank you for everyone who sent packages. Let's get into it. Okay, so I got two packages up here, two packages over there. Got like four or five here. Got some letters, these packages as well. Uh, and then all these right here will be saved for the next mail day. I think there's like seven or eight here, and I'm gonna open up 13 today. So uh, let's get into it. If you guys send a package and it's in the next mail day, don't worry, it'll be probably posted and recorded probably like in a week. Um, so don't worry. All right, everyone, so welcome back. Uh, today's mail day is going to include all these packages over here, all these over here, the ones behind me as well. Uh, thank you to everyone who sent packages. I do have a couple letters as, you know, as well here. Um, thank you to everyone who sent packages. If you guys are curious and you want to send anything to me, my P.O. Box information is in the description below. I plan on doing one or two mail days uh, before I didn't expect, well, I didn't expect to find didn't expect to get this many packages, uh, so thank you for that. But I expect to do one to two more mail day videos before the summer or before the spring actually begins. So if you guys are curious, like I said, P.O. Box information is in the description below. And let's get into it. Thank you to everyone who sent packages. Greatly appreciate you guys and girls have always been supportive over the past couple of years. Uh, so very, very exciting. We uh, Well, let's get into the letters. So we have two letters here. One is from Pamela B., who included a very lovely Valentine's letter. Thank you for that. And, and uh, Carr, we have one also from M. Rankin out of Carmel, New York. Uh, thank you for the wonderful letter on cursive. And then we have a gift here as well as a letter from John and Jenna out of New Jersey. Oh, wow. Wow. Taco and salsa, it's time to celebrate. What is the strangest thing you've ever found in the trash? Time to celebrate spring and flea market season. Here's to the coming warm weather, long time fans, John and Jenna in New Jersey. Uh, what is the strangest thing I've ever found in the trash? That's crazy, because you know the funny thing is, a lot of people do ask me, what is the best thing you find in the trash? What is the weirdest thing? Off the top of my head, I cannot tell you, either or. Um, so I got to think of like a better answer to that because it, it seems to be a, a thoughtful question that a lot of people seem to have. I, I can't think off the top of my head, but I will get back to you with that, John and Jenna. Thank you for the wonderful $2 gift as well as the wonderful card. It's like a pop-up card. I don't think it'll focus the right way. There you go. You kind of can see it there. You got a pop-up card, kind of like a, uh, a cupcake. <laughs> So very, very cool there. John and Jenna in New Jersey, hopefully all is well. Thank you for the wonderful card and the wonderful gift. And uh, hopefully all is well in New Jersey. Stay warm, we're almost there. Wow, winter's almost gone. Very thankful, snow is almost gone. So warmer and happier days to come. Uh, let's get into the packages. All right, so, well, let's get this one because this is a tube. Now I received this, I think this is my yeah, this is the second oldest package, and what I ended up doing is I prioritized all the older packages, which seem to be every package sent before February 12th, um, with the remaining packages over there sent like February 19th. Uh, so these are all sent before February 12th, maybe with the exception of like one or two. Uh, so this was sent February 9th. It came from Beckley out of what looks like Lee Land, North Carolina. It's a very nice uh, tube design now. Is this priority mail or is this first class? I know Jay always asks me for these tubes so he can ship posters. Oh, not a poster. It's a yardstick. Oh, it has a letter on it. <laughs> oh, salsa's getting fired up. Oh, wow. Pop this bad boy over here. So I can sniff it. All right. 
a very nice yard stick. Hi, my husband and I love your videos. We thought of you when we came across this vintage yardstick advertising 1962 Chevrolets. Until your video, we never thought of looking at yardstick, yardsticks for advertising. We love the thrift as well. We go to yard sales, estate sales, and thrift stores as often as we can. We especially love and collect early transistor radios. Hope you like the yardstick. Keep making terrific videos and say hi to Salsa Fresh. Joe and Nancy B. Thank you, Joe and Nancy. This is awesome. This us have a... Uh, it does. I was going to ask if it had a, uh, a little bit of local advertisement in terms of the town on it. It does. This came from Lumberton, North Carolina. Kind of ironic. It's made out of wood and it comes from Lumberton. But very, very cool yardstick. Chevrolet. On the back it says 62 Chevrolets. So very, very cool. I've never seen this. I don't think I've ever come across a North Carolina advertisement yardstick before. So this will definitely be my first. Uh, but greatly appreciate it. Hopefully all is well in North Carolina. And Thank you for the lovely, uh, lovely yardstick. Thank you. I believe that's also my first yardstick I've received in uh, the mail. Very cool. On to the next package, we have one here from Becca Hats out of Oregon. It's kind of funny, this box looks exactly like, it's the same exact size box I use for my shipping my, uh, my hats, so. Uh, well, I open this upside down. Oh. See the note at the bottom. Dacosas are for you and your mom. My grandma made them. And I hope you can add this 1988 Olympic hat to your collection. Beckett Hats. Thank you for the YouTube content. Thank you, Beck. Hopefully all is well. And thank you for, uh, I believe these are the coasters. Grandma made these. These are really nice. They're like uh, hand crocheted gray. Gray is probably one of my favorite colors as well, if not my favorite color. Do like gray. Um, so thank you for the wonderful coasters. We have a pocket hand warmer. This is one of those metal, like, they're usually like aluminum. You can pop, that's from Kmart. A light, they, they advertise it as light cigarettes also. Wow, how, how times have changed. <laughs> that's great. Uh, here we have a patch on, uh, iron on little patches. It says golf on it. We'll see if there's any other things in there. No, they're all, there's four of them, all golf patches. Those are cool. Maybe I'll like make a jacket or something, just iron on a bunch of patches. And then lastly we have, here's mo more coasters. Ooh, these are like a Patriot kind of color scheme. We have a United States shooting team, South Korea. Snapback hat. Take this out of the bag. I don't think I have a 1988 Olympics apparel. I know I have 1988 Olympic uh, memorabilia, but very cool. Thank you, Beckett Hats, for this. Greatly appreciate the hat. Mm. That was salsa. All right. Thank you for the wonderful hat. Thank you for the wonderful package, and thank you for the coasters as well. Hopefully, all is well with you, and tell your grandma I said thank you as well. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you for the wonderful hat and gifts. Thanks. All right, here we have... This is from Jose R, HomeDepot.com. So I don't know if this is from Jose or maybe someone else. Oh, it's got like a little letter in it. This might just be the uh, packing receipt. It is. Ordered by Taco Stacks. <laughs> I didn't order this, but I guess maybe Jose R did. We have a stud finder. I believe this is one tool I do not own. So I know in a previous video, I was trying to nail in a sign that Jackie P sent, and um, I was looking for the stud, and I couldn't find it. I was just banging with the, uh, the wall until I heard a, a louder thump. Um, but thank you. Thank you for the stud finder. Now I own one. I did not own one. Uh, greatly appreciate it. Thank you for the wonderful tool. Uh, I believe this is from Jose R. If not, whoever did send this, Greatly appreciate it. It will be going to good use. A tool I do not own. Thanks. All right, here we have a package from Monet Enterprise out of Wisconsin, I believe. WI is Wisconsin. Oh. <laughs> I know what this is for and why this was sent. But thank you for this. So this is actually, a, yeah, this is a jar opener. The other day I struggled during my... Uh, cooking video to open up a jar of salsa 
And uh, these actually really do help. So my hand was really wet. I couldn't dry it off enough. I kept on wiping my hand down. Could not open it. Jar opener should be able to open it with ease. So thank you, Monade Enterprise, for sending me a jar opener. These are like little, they're not sponges. They're like little pieces of cloth, rubbery cloth. Um, thanks for the jar opener. Can I actually really use this? I used to have one a while back, and I don't know what happened. Maybe it got, um, maybe it got moldy. I don't remember. I was looking for it the other day, though, when I was trying to open the jar, and I did not have it. So that will definitely replace it. Greatly appreciate. Thank you for the jar openers. Package of two as well. All right, here we have another package from Amazon. Seems like a lot of Amazon packages. Oh. It's about to be that time of the season. <laughs> this is from Jackie, Jackie P. Peace, Jackie. So it looks like... That's weird. Kind of, that's kind of a, it's kind of funny. They sent three, oh, for each individual thing. I was like, why they send three different receipts with that? Uh, but thank you, Jackie P, for this. It looks like cough drops, which I definitely can use. It's about to be that time of the season. Cough drops. Thanks, Jackie. Ooh, these, uh, yeah, wow. I don't know if these are like your favorite flair, but this brought back a lot of memories. This, I think, is my favorite flair, and then I remember this one the most from my childhood honey and berry. So thank you for the cough drops. Funny thing is my mom's always trying to give me cough drops, especially when I used to do it a live stream. She's like, here, take a cough drop for your next live stream. Uh, thank you, Jackie. Thank you for the wonderful cough drops. Greatly appreciate it. These will definitely be used in the next couple months. And thanks again. Always great to see your name. And thank you for the wonderful package. I know there's, I think, one or two packages over there that are from you. And then I have one package here from you as well. So Greatly appreciate it. Thanks, Jackie. Always been very supportive. Thank you for the cough drops. All right, this seems like a smaller package. This is, uh, this is from Kanif D out of Newport, Minnesota. Oh, sauce is now smelling cough drops. Don't know, this might be a letter. It's a puzzle for sure. So for some of you who might know the significance of this, this is a wooden nickel, which I'm not very familiar with. A wooden nickel, but if you flip it over, it's for an auction company out of Farmville, Virginia. Now for those who might not be very familiar with my background, I went to college in Farmville, Virginia. Um, and honestly, like I do collect a little bit of Stockertown stuff. Farmville, Virginia stuff has a small little portion of my heart stuck into it probably forever. Uh, I had a lot of great experiences there. It's a very small kind of town, close knit community, but um, it's where I went to college. So um, very, very cool. I greatly appreciate that. I don't own that much Farmville, Virginia stuff, and I never knew there was an auction company there. So definitely appreciate that. Brought back a lot of memories seeing that. I'll have to do some research on the auction company. I wish I would have known about auctions when I was in college. Um, and I wish I would have done YouTube when I was in college because there would have been some great, great videos and great memories that I could have definitely recorded. But um, can't change the past, but definitely can change the future. Thank you, Kniff D, for the awesome wooden nickel from Farmville, Virginia. This is awesome. Definitely will go into my collection of coins and such. Greatly appreciate it. means a lot that you've been... Uh, means a lot that you really focused on the smalls of my life and picked up on that and blessed me with this awesome piece. Greatly appreciate it. Thanks again. Let's finish off this because I have a large area to do this package. Um, this one's from Gene L. out of Niceville, Florida. License plate wall is almost complete. Almost, almost complete. This one's from Gene L. Hi, Taco Stacks. One of your favorite videos or one of your favorite fans. Sorry for that. I didn't know if you had a Florida plate, so I'll keep... So I'll send you my old one. Keep up the great work, Gene L. Out of Niceville, Florida. Oh, I don't have a Florida plate that says Walton on the bottom. Very, very cool. Thank you for the awesome Florida license plate. 
Uh, off the top of my head, I don't, I believe I do have a license plate. I'm not sure if I just have the handicap one or I have the original one. I think I have a vintage one. I definitely don't have one with Walton, Florida on it. Greatly appreciate Gene L. Hopefully all is well in Florida. Nice little Florida. Sounds like an awesome place to be right now. Um, stuck up here in the cold, but thank you, Gene, for the wonderful license plate. Greatly appreciate it. Very, very cool to still be getting a license plate. I don't know what the next license plate project will be, but we'll figure something out, hopefully during the summer. All right. This looks like another package from Amazon. I think it's my fourth package from Amazon. Or my third. Or maybe my second. Oh. They look like meatballs. Meatballs. Enjoy your gift from Sharon H. Thank you, Sharon. Greatly appreciate this. Uh, we have what looks like oh, uh, salsa loves salsa loves these. She loves Milo's Kitchen. I don't remember if you were the last one who sent me a Milo's Kitchen item, um, but thank you, Sharon, for this. We have what looks like dog treats, meatballs. They are legit meatballs. <laughs> Chicken meatballs, high protein, no artificial flavor. Milo's Kitchen. They're meatballs. They're legit, legit like them. Very, very cool. Greatly appreciate the wonderful gift for Salsa Sharon. Uh, these will definitely go into good use. I almost ran out of treats the other day, but uh, you definitely restocked the, the supply. You might be able, no, you can't see it. There, her treat things up there. Um, Every morning she gets a treat. So, uh, greatly appreciate it. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you for the wonderful salsa treats. Thanks. So we have a package here from Jackie P out of Florida. Oh. Jackie is blessed with many, many great <laughs> She used one of my decals for a uh, little packaging. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Holy moly. There's my decal. I guess we'll work on the... Uh... <laughs> This says it has a bad word, so I'll just take a look at it. <laughs> I will, I will, I will probably use that. I don't think if it, I'll, I don't think you'll ever see it on camera unless you keep, unless you keep a very, very close eye. But I will probably add that. Um, we'll keep it inside joke. <laughs> that was kind of jumped the gun there by looking at that. All right, so we got two letters here. Ooh, a Jeep decal. Oh. I see what it is. I can't peel this off. So it's a Jeep decal with two paw prints on it. <laughs> That's great. I think, I don't know why I think I've seen that, but I, I think I've seen that. Yeah, I can't peel this off. Anyway, it's a Jeep decal, and then like the two E's are actually paw prints. So that's very cool. I like that one, Jackie. Thank you for that. Uh, then we have a letter here. Oh, wow. It's very, very nice letter. Or I should say card. That's well thought out. Jackie, thank you, thank you. Just a thank you package for all the hard work. I have no words to tell you how much watching your videos have helped me pass the time being inside. You have no idea how much you make me laugh and cringe when you throw things in the van. Can you hear me yelling when you overlook things? Go back, go back, you missed that, I am lol. And yes, I know, I do not have to send you money. Stop yelling at me. <laughs> I do so to support your channel and see you smile and laugh. If you keep it up, I'll write in cursive. Please do not write in cursive. I am 
I am keep Amazon and the post office and busy. Peace, Jackie. <laughs> Uh, that's great. Yes. So yes, that yes. Okay. Um, thank you. And thank you for the wonderful donation as well. The wonderful gift. Uh, another hundred dollars. Jackie, you do not have to send me money. I greatly appreciate it. I know I say this every time, but thank you. Um, thank you for the wonderful uh, gift. Thank you. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, you don't have to send me money. Thank you. Um, thanks. Um, I love the card as well. This is a very, very nice card. Oh wow, it's a, that's really cool. It's this guy, yay. Look at that, it's like a fold up Jeep. That is awesome. I've never seen a card like that. Thank you, Jackie, and thank you for the wonderful monetary gift. I do love the black box item in there as well. And like I said, you probably will see it in a future video, but you probably won't be able to read it in a future video, but you'll just see that it's there. Um, so thank you for that. Uh, I do have a package here. We have other things here. Holy moly. Holy moly, I guess we'll go through this because that looks very large. I got you a new one, you get the old one. This cracked me up. Oh, I get it. It's a, <laughs> it's a, it's a vacuum cleaner cord. I couldn't tell what it was. I'm looking at this like, what is this? It's a vacuum cleaner cord. Thank you for that one. <laughs> it's just a, that's just a good one. Um, we have, oh wow. <laughs> this is great. It's a customized dog. It looks like a dog chew, dog like toy. It's got salsa on each side, me in the middle, and then salsa laughing over here on the right. That's an awesome gift. I love that. I don't like, I don't want to give it to salsa. I just want to keep that, but I guess she'll have it eventually. We also have a plush coffee mug dog toy. Thank you for the wonderful dog toy. Huge thing of bacon strips for salsa. Thank you. I don't think she'll ever need these ever again. This is a very large bag. 40 ounce party pack. <laughs> Salsa's gonna have a party. Uh oh, Salsa getting fired up. Oh. She's giving sniffs. She, she's pacing now. Thank you for the party. There she is. Thank you for the party pack Salsa package. I believe this is another one of those gators. This is a Jeep gator. I don't actually think I own a black gator. Thank you for that. And has little dog prints for salsa. Uh-oh. <laughs> we have a t-shirt. I am the black Jeep. Very, very cool design on that. Great t-shirt. High quality t-shirt as well. Wear that in the summer. Another Jeep t-shirt as well. This is kind of like a patriotic one. The American flag in the back. Awesome. Oh, it's a long sleeve. Fun fact today, I don't own a lot of long sleeve shirts. I probably own like three, because long sleeve shirts are tricky. It's like one of those things you can only really wear for like three weeks of the year up here. Um, but I usually struggle though during those three weeks when I'm either too hot or too cold because I don't wear a long sleeve shirt. So thank you for the long sleeve shirt. Um, we also have, Oh, wow. Reusable pet fur remover. Fun fact today, salsa is shedding right now. This is going to work perfect. Yes, that's for removing fur off, I believe, couches and stuff. So she's shedding right now. It is a disaster. But we're getting through it. USB charge. Oh, is it a flashlight? Oh, it is a flashlight. Great. Definitely use a flashlight. I actually only have one flashlight in my van and whenever the batteries go low, I get really aggravated because I'm like, now I don't have a flashlight for today. So thank you for the flashlight, Jackie. We also have a, this is a really, I think, is this, is this a, another gator or is this, um, it's gotta be another one. I think it is. They wear over your face. It's kind of, 
<laughs> People are going to give me some unique looks, but thank you for that as well. That's, uh, that's very cool and colorful, I should say. I think that's what that is. I don't think that's like a, it just looks weird because it's all stretched out right now. Now, lastly, thank you for these. I only have one pair of thermal underwear right now. It's getting to the point where like, I really don't need them, but they do get like, I do wear them from time to time. So um, this is gonna be my extra pair as well. A pair of thermal crew top and pants. Greatly appreciate that, Jackie. Uh, thank you for all the wonderful gifts here. We have a couple of gators. We have some dog chews for salsa, some dog toys, as well as some dog treats. The very wonderful monetary gift as well. Um, I greatly appreciate that, Jackie. Hopefully all is well. And uh, thank you for all the wonderful gifts. I know there is like one or two for next mail day video. So um, thank you for that. Thank you for all the support. Hopefully all is well. And you'll definitely see the little black box item in future videos. So thanks. Greatly appreciate it. Hopefully all is well in Florida. And thanks once again for all the wonderful gifts. Alrighty, on to next four packages we have here. Uh, and this is gonna wrap up today's mail day video after these four packages. And like I said, probably in like another week or so, I'm gonna open up the rest of them. Um, if you guys want to send anything, P.O. Box information is down below. Uh, but yeah, let's get into the last four packages here. We have some bigger packages. I know for next one, there's a lot of bigger packages. Uh, but let's just go ahead and open up these. This one's from John D. out of Lafayette, Louisiana. Oh. Oh. Wow, those are awesome. Oh, this isn't from John D. This is from Jackie as well. So thank you, Jackie. Greatly appreciate another wonderful gift here. This is awesome. So what we have here is actually... Oh, and these are good quality sunglasses. You guys know like how I like my sunglasses. These are customized... I'm worried to like use these. Well, that's actually really good quality. They're customized sunglasses with taco stacks. Very hard to keep my hand straight and this thing straight and not shake a little bit, but they say taco stacks on both sides. Oh, wow, they fit great too. I would wear them for the rest of the mail day, but that'd be kind of weird to wear sunglasses inside, but these are much better quality than my other sunglasses. And they have my name on them. <laughs> so thank you, Jackie P. Thank you for a, uh, another wonderful gift here. Sunglasses, customized with my name on the side. Very cool. And really, I assume you probably picked out these colors. They go great. There's a little black, uh, black with, looks like gold. Gold reflective. I, don't, I can't really pronounce the right word. I think it's irid iridium, iridium. Um, but very, very nice. High quality sunglasses. Thank you, Jackie. I just worry when I do this. Yeah, I just won't ever do that. I'll just keep them like that. Thank you, Jackie, for the wonderful gift. Thank you for the wonderful sunglasses. Put them right there. Um, those are going to be worn a lot during the summer because I wear them a ton of when I drive my van. The reflection is terrible also in the snow. So thank you, Jackie. Thank you for the wonderful gift as well. And Greatly appreciate another wonderful package. Uh, thanks, Jackie. Always cool, always cool. Uh, here we have another package. This one is from Barry Atwood out of Georgia. So this one's from Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Ooh. Probably should grab this like this. Oh, wow. I saw Olympics on the other side. This thing's like... Before I open it up. Oh, that one's... There's a letter. This is a very long letter and looks to be very professionally typed. 
So I'm going to try to abbreviate this the best possible way because this looks very official. And I'm pretty sure I might mess up something here. So I'm going to read the top paragraph outline. Dear Taco Stacks, as a fan of your channel, I noticed you mentioned collecting things related to Olympics, and I believe I heard you say that you attended the 1980. Salsa. I believe I heard you say that you attended 1996 games in Atlanta. I held on to quite a bit of personal memorabilia related to 1996 Olympics, and I'd like to give you these things enclosed. If some of it is duplicate or not interest of you, feel free to give or sell anything you like. Allow me to tell me what I sent, and this letter can serve you as your certificate of authentic authentic authentication. Since I acquired these things originally, and I'm passing them to you. I grew up in Atlanta and lived there most of my life. My career as a graphic designer led me in 1990 to become a co-owner of a design firm called Jones Worley, located in Atlanta. We were able to get quite a bit of work leading up to the 1996 Olympics, including working on a team that put together what is called the Look of the Games, or the brand name for the games. This is the visual appearance at the actual venues and media or advertising, uniforms, sports venues, and all sorts of things. We also worked quite a bit for decoration for the Athletes Village, which in our case was on the campus of Georgia Tech. See? I did not know that. I did not know Georgia Tech played any sort of role in this. <laughs> when I just give off this one part that I read here, it says, if you guys can see, it's a very thoughtful letter here. Uh, literally, every single thing is greatly uh, in-depth talked about here. But just going off one thing that kind of made me chuckle, the second part made me chuckle. Uh, tickets. Inside the green ticket book, I've given you my ticket stub from events I attended. You'll notice the opening ceremony cost was $636. That was the cost of opening ceremony, which was a lot of money to me at the time. Heck, it's still a lot of money to me. <laughs> that is a lot of money. I don't know why, but the second part really made me chuckle. Um, it, a daily newspaper was printed every day of the games called Daily Olympian. I include the final game day, August 3rd for you. There's, I believe, a Sports Illustrated. Coca-Cola wrapper from a bottle. Oh, yeah, this is going to be cool. Randomly, you'll find a tear sheet from a catalog showing Olympic apparel that was available. And then what was included, so yes, I do collect, I collect a lot of things. To be honest, I have quite the collection of a lot of things. Uh, but things I kind of like personally collect are definitely Olympic stuff. I probably have like three or four boxes of this. It's just assorted Olympic stuff. So we have a handkerchief here which uh, there was, I remember there was something on there. You have another handkerchief. Oh, they waved it during, I think, the opening ceremonies. That is something, oh, jeez. This, I believe. Here we have a pin. I know he was talking about the Leafs being one of the motifs, I think, of the Olympics. Here we have an official map of what the Olympics was like. I guess this was kind of get you around town. A little cutout of the apparel, which if I can only go back in time, I'd probably buy like a hundred of these and maybe like 50 of those. And then the hats, I'll probably buy a hundred of those. How much were these things back then? How much were the t-shirts? Doesn't even say, it shows it. Oh, this is letter C. So the most valuable shirt here, which is probably letter C was, Originally $16, which right now, dead stocky, you probably get like 40 or 50 bucks for it. The first one also, which is probably the other valuable one, probably about 35 or $40, was $16 back then. Just kind of crazy. I know the hats really are just insanely valuable. Maybe these shorts are. Speedo shorts are kind of cool. We have a um, brochure guide. A limited edition Nations Bank. I guess is if you want to open up a credit card. Looks like a newspaper. This looks like a book. Yeah, sort of a magazine of all the art in Atlanta. Some of the history. More of that. Oh, this is a ticket request book. He said he saved a piece of the Coca-Cola bottle. And yes, here is the tickets. Baseball cost $43, 22 16 I guess it really depended on who you got to see and also the time of the day. As well as maybe the round, $20. I 
Um, and yeah, this was the opening ceremony, opening ceremony ticket. That is awesome. Well, I can honestly say I don't own one of these, so this will definitely be going into my collection, as well as I don't think I even own any of these tickets. Um, but thank you for passing on the history to me. I greatly appreciate that. This will certainly be going in my collection. It's a really nice book. We have some Sports Illustrated dailies as well. Wow. So all this stuff, I don't think I've ever even seen. I never even knew existed. Maybe I knew a little bit about like the brochures or the uh, media guides. But in terms of like the ticket book, there has to be like not that many left out there, especially the book itself. Um, and then the ticket stubs, sure, they might be common. Like, you know, people might have saved them, but probably a lot of people didn't. So the fact that you did save it for all these years and then sent them on my way, greatly appreciate, Barry. Thank you for passing this on to me. Hopefully all is well. I'm going to also include this into probably the ticket. I'm going to put this back into the ticket book. So I have the history with all of this here. I love the uh, the bag itself too. The bag itself is very, very nice. And I'm pretty sure there's probably not that many of them out there either. Uh, so thank you, Barry. Thank you for passing on this wonderful piece of Olympic memorabilia to me. Greatly appreciate it. Hopefully all is well and it is in Atlanta. Hopefully all is well in Atlanta. And thanks again for certainly giving me something that you've held on to a very long time, man. I greatly appreciate it. Alrighty. So I think we have two more packages here. This one is from VM out of Huntington Park, California. That's interesting. One of my uh, best friends from uh, school actually was from Huntington Park. Now he's in the Navy and he's all over the world and living the dream. He was actually my golf partner as well in college. He used to go golf. Him and one other kid went golfing every Thursday or Tuesday. Usually went every Thursday. Um, wow. So yes, you guys are from the same area. It looks like we have a package here or a shirt or a what shirt? Is it a case on it? Oh, hey. <laughs> So I polished off, uh, you might go see, I probably polished off about four bowls of cereal. I don't see a note in here, but check it out. Nestle Quick. <laughs> it's a very, very cool sweatshirt. It says on the back as well, it has a little graphic of the, I guess he's a bunny. I guess that's what the animal is. Thank you, VM, for that. Um, <laughs> So yes, my favorite cereal is the Nestle Quick Cereal. <coughs> I do remember having a chocolate milk as a kid. I think it was chocolate milk. It wasn't hot chocolate, right? It was chocolate milk. Um, but the cereal was definitely my favorite. This is the first time I've ever seen actually apparel for Nestle Quick. Maybe I've seen a t-shirt in my day, but sweatshirt and this really cool design, that, that's awesome. Uh, so you'll see this in the spring. I was actually talking the other day. I don't have any like zip-up hoodies. I'm more of a crew neck guy, but uh, I had to wear a jacket for something, and I was like, the zip-up hoodie would have just been perfect. So, a nice lightweight zip-up hoodie for spring, Nestle Quick VM out of California. Greatly appreciate the wonderful gift. Not see, a, not see a letter in here. But you'll definitely see this in the future. Very, very cool uh, sweatshirt. Favorite chocolate milk, but by far favorite cereal of all time. Uh, hopefully all is well. Greatly appreciate the wonderful package. It looks like it'll also fit me, so thanks again. Greatly appreciate it. Okay, so we have our last package here. This one's from Mary S. out of Georgia. I know Mary has definitely blessed me with a bunch of hats in the past. Hats in the past. As well as I believe some shirts. Ooh, we have a, like a letter thing here. Taco, probably no grails here, but it may fill in the gap since you can't get in as much thrifting as you like. Best wishes, Mary. Salsa, give these a good sniff. Salsa, salsa just looked at me. Uh oh. Cubs t shirt, Cubs jersey t shirt. We also have what looks like, ooh, is this Auburn? It is. War Eagle. A little War Eagle t shirt, Auburn. Uh oh. Sports jersey? Oh, wow. Sports jersey, who's on the back? Bell, I think that's Levon Bell, right? Don't follow football too much. Steelers jersey, wow, this is a really high quality jersey. Wow. 
Thank you for the wonderful jersey, Mary. So also just gave me a sniff and she walked away. Well, that's cool. Where did I see one of these? This is Exxon Mobil Tiger Baseball. I don't know. Uh, that's not the same guy as Tony the Tiger. It's a different Tiger. Why do I think that Tony the Tiger is the same? Ooh, these are cool. 100 PGA Championship wooden tees. Bella, Bella Reeve, Bella Reeve, 2018. Those are really nice colors too. So I got some golf tees. I want to send a photo of my friend. Um, he's been on, <laughs> I won't say that, he's been on a binge of watching random basketball teams not going to go down that road, but he's been uh, he's been doing a lot of parlays, and one of the teams he always does is the Knicks. So I'm going to send him a photo of this. Knicks are actually my favorite basketball team. I just don't really watch too much basketball. Um, but thank you for the socks. These are, I've been wearing a lot of long socks this year. Knicks socks are going to be worn. Oh, wow. For a second, Mary, I thought you had to unvacuum this, but I guess you don't. I think you could just open it. All right, another fun fun fact of the day. Yesterday, I was working on stuff in my uh, my outbuilding, and my neighbor stopped by. He's like, "Hey, do you have any chainsaws for sale?" And I told him, I, you know, I can give him a chainsaw like a Pulion or I think like a Craftsman I had or Echo." And he's like, "No, do you have any steel chainsaws?" I was like, "No, I don't have any steel chainsaws for sale." Steel, steel brand, powered by steel. Awesome. So I can't fit this, maybe I'll give it to him because he seems to be like one of those guys who just loves steel brand. But I like the shirt. So I'm gonna see if I can fit that. Um, like almost impossible to find good deals on steel chainsaws. He just wanted to work on to tinker with it during the winter. We have a sweatshirt here. Ooh, Ohio State. Ohio State sweatshirt. I was thinking off the top of my head, who won the uh, college football? I think it was Ohio State won this year. We have one sports jersey, which I'll get to last. Ooh, this is a nice shirt. Chicago Cubs. Chicago Cubs. We also have a Cleveland Browns. As well as a Cincinnati Bengals t-shirt. A New York Jets. A Seattle Seahawks. Oh, Salsa Inspector is coming along. Salsa Inspector. <laughs> She's getting fired up there. Uh, and lastly, Mary, thank you for this wonderful... Oh, I don't know who Walsh is. Why am I thinking he's like a kicker? Maybe he is a kicker. Fun fact today, like kickers really don't get a lot of apparel made. I don't think he's a kicker. He might be a kicker. We have a Minnesota Vikings football jersey. For Walsh. So a couple sports jerseys, some couple t-shirts here. We definitely have some grails. I mean, I definitely keep these sports jerseys as well. Um, put on my collection. Greatly appreciate, Mary. Thank you also for the wooden tees as well as the wonderful socks, which you may or may not see. It'd be kind of weird to show off socks, but yeah, you might see them in future videos. Uh, so thank you for that. Thank you for the wonderful gifts. Thank you for the wonderful package. Uh, Mary, you've always blessed me with a lot of great, great memorabilia and great apparel for the past couple uh, mail day videos. So I greatly appreciate it. Hopefully all is well in Georgia and thanks again. And thank you for all the wonderful gifts, Mary. Thank you. Alrighty. Thank you to everyone who sent out packages. Thank you to everyone who sent gifts for, oh, gifts for Salsa who's currently inspecting stuff. Very, very happy dog. Uh, but thank you to everyone who sent wonderful gifts, wonderful packages uh, to myself or Salsa. I greatly appreciate all the support over the past couple of years. It's been very, I know I say this every time, but it's been very, very uh, appreciative and very, very thoughtful of everyone for sending that kind of stuff. And you know, whatever, whatever it might be, whether it's just a letter, uh, maybe a gift for Salsa, a gift for myself, Thank you to everyone who sent wonderful things. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow for tomorrow's adventure. And obviously, I'll get to the other mail day packages uh, next time. Or probably like in a week or maybe a week and a half from now. We'll get on to them. So uh, thank you to everyone who sent wonderful gifts. If you guys want to send anything or girls want to send anything, PO Box information is in the description below. All you have to do is just copy and paste it. And I'll catch up with you guys next time for next adventure. 
Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.